Welcome back to our free video series on working with Easy Drummer. Now we've already covered loading the kits up, listening to them, choosing the drums we want, and also auditioning and setting up song structures with our MIDI files. Easy Drummer is quite easy to use in that sense. Now we get a little bit more controls here. Let's go back to auditioning. What if we want or wished that the drummer had played a little heavier on that part. Go down to your velocity control. Bring it up. That changes the velocity and actually even the samples used by the drummer. It gives you the sound of drums played harder or softer. You can also change the tempo of that by clicking down here, double time, half time, or one time, just regular. You have the ability to also humanize that, make it sound a little less perfect. It's an on and off, off. Any MIDI file can be taken from any of these and structured together to create a unique song. Let's take a look at our mixer. I'm going to go down here, left click on Open Mixer. We literally have a mixer built in to Easy Drummer. Now, here's some important things about getting the most out of it. When working with drums in a studio, in order to get the best recording, you want to make sure you have individual outs. In other words, you don't want to just come out stereo. You want to make sure that your bass drum has a separate track, your snare has a separate track, and so forth and so on. In order to do that in Easy Drummer, just simply come down here to Output and left-click on it. Now, just so you can see this, I'll move it up, and you can scroll down to Multi-Channel. That's going to give you multiple outs, and you can see clearly, and you can change them if you choose, your kick is going to track one. And in this kit, we have actually three microphones or three channels set up. This tends to be either the front and back, and there's also a sub kick, which is going to be some additional low end. And you can mix them here with an easy drummer to set them up to go out to channel or track one in your recording program. Now, if you so we're so inclined to actually say, well, I really wish I could have separate outputs for the front and back of the kick drum. No problem, man. Just go down to Output, select the track you want. If you want to select track two, just make sure it's not overlapping with something else like here, the snare. But for most intensive purposes, you can actually do your pre-mixing of individual drums right inside of Easy Mixer. Okay, great. Let's move on. Go to the next video.